Did you know that nearly half of the American population over age 20 has high blood pressure? And many people don't even know it. With us today is Hillary Ayers, Family and Consumer Sciences Agent with UF IFAS Extension in Orange County. Hillary, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So we're gonna talk about blood pressure today. What is blood pressure for those who may not know? Yeah, so blood pressure is just the pressure of blood pushing against blood vessel walls. All right, and what are some of the things you want us to know about blood pressure today? So blood pressure normally is written in two numbers, or your doctor might say it to you as two numbers, such as 112 over 78. And so that top or larger number is known as systolic blood pressure, and that's the pressure as the heart beats. Then you have that lower or smaller number, which is also known as diastolic blood pressure, and that's the pressure of the heart resting between beats. That's so interesting. You know, I've heard those numbers my whole life, mm -hmm. but didn't really know what they meant. Same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is considered high blood pressure? So high blood pressure is going to be that systolic pressure of 130 or higher, or a diastolic pressure of 80 or higher over a period of time. And what are some of the things that determine our blood pressure? So uh, certain risk factors like being diagnosed with diabetes, having, um, you know, being overweight, um, you know, a lack of exercise, lack of that, uh, physical activity, smoking. Um, these are all things that can lead to high blood pressure in addition to not eating a healthy diet. Okay, and I know you've brought some things to show us today. Tell us what you have. Sure, so these are just some things, you know, um, you always wanna remember to stay hydrated, right? We're not trying to, um, drink anything that's unhealthy for us, like those sugary beverages, right? Mm -hmm. um, so just having a water bottle on hand is a really great way to continue getting that hydration that you need. Um, of course, this is the uh, My Plate, which is based off the dietary guidelines for Americans. And then it's just really showing you what you should be eating every day to have that healthy diet. And then of course, just some three pound weights here, you know, just getting in any type of physical activity is really going to help um, with managing blood pressure and okay. helping to lower it. Um, you can even use, if you don't have weights at home, you can use things like canned vegetables, canned fruits, bottles of water, even laundry detergent, right? It's really heavy when we first get it um, and just using that to lift up. Okay, so that is weight resistance. When it comes to blood pressure, which is, is more helpful? Cardio, weight resistance, a little bit of both? A little bit of both. Anything okay. really that gets your heart beat okay. faster than it usually would be is counting as physical activity. Okay, and what are some of the signs of high blood pressure? How do we know if maybe we should be concerned? Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, there are no signs of high blood pressure, uh -huh. um, which is what makes it so dangerous, right? A lot of times we only know we have it um, once we're having you know, heart disease, heart attack, or stroke. So the most important thing that you can do is just go to your doctor, be sure that they are measuring your blood pressure, which is typically done during every visit, um, and then you know, talking with your doctor if you have any questions, and of course, taking any medication um, that they might prescribe you. Okay, and I know you have a blood pressure cuff here, and that's what the doctor is doing when we start our appointment, right? Yes. And they put that cuff on. Yep, that's exactly what they're doing. Um, and then, of course, we have something neat that we are partnering um, with the American Heart Association on. At our office, you can actually come check out one of our blood pressure cuffs. Um, we will walk through the steps of the proper way to uh, place the cuff, uh, the steps of, you know, how should you be sitting, the things that you should be doing. Um, it even comes with a little packet. Check it out just like you would check out a library book, right? So you check it out for two weeks. Hopefully you're keeping track of your blood pressure as you measure it, and then you bring that blood pressure cuff back to us. That is such a great opportunity for people to take advantage of. Yes, we are very excited about it. Hillary, thank you so much for being here today. This is important information for people to know. Yes, thank you. All right, we appreciate it. Well, I learned a lot about blood pressure today, and hopefully you did too, so that you can stay on top of yours and stay healthy.